south of Buxton in Derbyshire, is one of the oddest pieces of public Victorian architecture in the Midlands. Solomon's Temple, whose circular design may remind you of a straight, castellated tower of Pisa, as interpreted by the neo-Gothic designers of Victorian England. Solomon Maycock, the farmer who rented the land from the Duke of Devonshire in the 1820s, always felt uneasy as a barrow and Neolithic burial mound was on his land. So he brought in local archaeologist Mika Sot, who excavated the Bronze Age burial mound beneath the foundations. He found some tools, pottery and at least three human burials over 5,000 years old. These items are displayed at Paul's Cabin, Visitors Centre and Buxton Museum. So as a religious man, Maycock wanted to cleanse the area and so he decided to build a temple on top of a mound to eliminate the so-called pagan influence. As we know by history, a church would be built on top of the pagan spiritual area to keep the spirits at bay. In this case, a temple would be sufficient. Because of a downturn in lead and lime mining in the area, men had no work, so Maycock had a ready supply of men. By 1895, he was elected that the temple would be paid for by public subscription so everyone could enjoy the folly. By 1896 it was built. <laughs> The Grade 2 listed building is part curiosity and part monument. Solomon's Temple is a familiar landmark 
on a green low barrow. If you climb the interior staircase, you will come to the roofless battlement with a splendid view over Buxton and the surrounding countryside. It's open all year round, 24 hours a day, and the admission is free. So enjoy yourself with the splendid views of Buxton. Thank you.